Hey everybody, it's Billy from Spicy Ginger Soap. I'm going to make some violet showers. It's the bathos dupe from Fragrance Buddy. I call it violet sugar. Um, and what I'm going to do is, I'm going to do a kind of like an ombre. So I'm going to do a couple um, different layers, all starting with um, this dark purple. It's, um, let's see, Cosmic Purple from Micahs and More. It's a really pretty purple. Um, I'm going to do that one, and then I'm just going to keep adding each layer a little bit more white until I get to the top, and I'm just going to do plain white. So hopefully it'll work out really good. Um, I just hope I have, like, the right amount of... Um, So here we go. I do remember actually, oh geez, I forgot about this. This fragrance oil actually does accelerate. So what I'm gonna have to do is, um, I'm either gonna have to do less layers or I'm gonna have to, well, I'm gonna have to work really fast and I'm probably gonna have to do less layers. Can't believe I forgot about that. See, that's one thing that you can't forget about when you're doing stuff like this. Well, what I'm gonna do, um, to get a little bit of a head up is I'll go ahead and I'll mix my color and my white before I put in my fragrance oil. So at least I'll have a little bit of extra time. And then on the top, I didn't tell you guys what I want to do on the top, but on the top I want to do uh, mica dusting in kind of like an ombre um, type way, like a darker and then all the way to a lighter and then all the way to like just plain uh, white shimmer mica. So I'm hoping that'll work out. All right, so I've just got it to emulsification and I'm gonna do half and half um, white and purple. Or let's see, maybe I should do, no, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do just because I wanna keep it pretty even. So let's see. I want to be able to see the numbers. I might have to put some more mica in there. And I might, a little more white would be okay than the purple, because that's a lot of that purple. So I'm probably gonna have to add a little bit more mica in there to make sure that it's nice and dark. And I obviously don't want to be like dilly-dallying around. I want to work fairly quickly. Sorry about the bowl impeding your view. Okay. So let's see. pretty. It's so pretty. 
it actually looks pretty, pretty nice and dark. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and leave it. That looks good to me. All right. And then I'm going to go ahead and put my titanium dioxide in this one. I want to try to mix this as little as possible. I really want to keep things as light on the trace as possible. bit more. Alright. There we go. That's going to be good. And then, like I said, I'm going to have to work super fast once I get my fragrance oil in here. Um, the last time that I did this, it did move pretty quickly. It's funny that I forgot that until I already had my whole plan in place. That just figures. Okay. So, I may even do my purple. Yeah, I'm going to put this in. Half of it in. Oops. Mix that in and then I'll mix that in in a second. I'll go ahead and lay my purple layer first, my dark purple layer first, and then I'll mix in my fragrance oil. All right, I think that's probably good and mixed in. I want to make sure my fragrance oil is mixed in well too. All right. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and do my first layer. Okay. And I'm trying to keep it at a certain amount also. Okay. All right. I'm going to go ahead and mix this in. So far, so good. I'm going to mix my first little bit in. Oops. <laughs> there we go. And I'm not going to try to layer this in like um, perfectly. I, I actually don't want it to be perfect lines. I want it to be, um, I want it to just be like a rough line. In fact, it's funny, this is like not thickening up on me at all, but now my white maybe. All right. Well, I wonder if 
I should try to do it a little bit. That wasn't really my plan. Well, we'll do it a little bit. Because this is so thin that it's just not going to... Alright, I'm just going to let it be like that because it's not going to... And like I said, I wasn't really planning on that anyway, so I'll just... I cannot believe I just did that. Okay, it's all right. go. All right. Okay, that's about perfect. It's exactly where I wanted to end up being for my last layer, which I'm happy about that. At least I calculated that correctly. <laughs> oh my goodness. So now we've got just a really, really light, light lavender. I can't believe how liquidy this is staying. I don't know. I guess maybe my recipe was the was what got it all thick last time. I don't know. It's so weird. Smells awesome. I love the smell of this. Reminds me of the little violet um, candies you can get at um, World Market. I'm sure you can get them other places, but that's where I know of that you can get them. Just reminds me exactly of that. All right, and then I'm just gonna go ahead and do my last layer which I would like this to be mainly on top because I want to, um, I want to do the, um, 
put a mica on top of just one straight color. So I do want this to kind of So thick, holy moly. See, I knew it was gonna thicken up sometime. All right. Just trying to make sure I cover everything up. There we go. Now, the next part is going to be a little tricky because I've never done it before, so hopefully I'll get it right. I need to let it thicken up a little bit because I want to um, do like a rough top, textured top kind of. That looks good. All right, so this is getting thick quickly, so I don't know if I even need to pause it, but um, I want it to be a little bit thicker so it can hold up. Yeah, I'm gonna pause for just a couple of seconds until this gets a little bit thicker, and then I'll bring you guys back. We'll do the top, and we'll be all set in a couple seconds all right guys I think it's thick enough I hope it is it's I kind of messed with it a little to see if it was thick enough and it's not as thick as it could be but I think it'll work yeah I think it could be thicker but I think it'll be okay And I zoomed in for you guys so you can see a little bit better. Hopefully I'll keep everything in frame. I guess my ones down here aren't as big. So excited about this, um, this smell. I 
I love it. My daughter doesn't like it though. <laughs> she came out here and she said it stinks out here. I said, well, I like it. She said, I have a headache. She's very, very, very scent picky. And um, it's kind of funny, like, she kind of likes the opposite fragrances that I do. Me and my oldest daughter, we like the same things. But my youngest daughter, she does not like the same things as me. She likes very, um, she likes like clean cotton, um, spa type scents, and I don't like those kind of things at all. I mean, it's not that I don't like them, but I don't, I definitely wouldn't pick those. They're not my preference. I think probably nobody hates spa scents, although maybe some people do, I don't know, but like, they're just clean scents. To me, it's like, that's what regular plain old soap smells like or you know laundry detergent or something like that um so you know i can smell those kind of scents anywhere why would i want them in my specialty stuff but you know i think everybody likes their own thing and that's perfectly fine and that's what keeps I mean, I guess that's really what th makes um, specialty soap thrive, right? Because everybody likes what they like. I'm um, really having fun using my new fragrances from Fragrance Buddy. Um, this is uh, one of them, obviously. And... Um, I was making bath bombs yesterday. I made a whole bunch of different scents. And that Fuji apple, you guys, I'm telling you, oh my gosh. If you haven't smelled that, you gotta get some. It's so good. I love it. I think I'm just about done here. Um, And then I'm going to do the mica dusting. Let's see. I, I'm falling into the same problem I always do. It doesn't look even to me. And that just drives me crazy for some reason. be happy when I do this.
Okay, I'm going to leave it like that. I have to stop somewhere. Clean out these sides and ends real quick. Alright, I have to stop. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to, um, I made little marks. I'm sure you can see what I did. And basically, let me check my, if you guys can see. Okay, perfect. I'm going to basically hold this over my little markings and then I'm going to dust my, um, my micas. I hope I can do this with only two hands. Looks like I need like three hands to do this. Okay, so yeah, this is how I'm going to do it. And I'm going light to dark because I figured um, I don't know. I actually probably should have went dark to light. But this is what I decided to do. So this is what I'm going to go with. I've got four different colors that I'm going to use, and actually, so I don't overlap too much, I guess I should probably use another one on the other side. So I'm going to use Periwinkle for the next color, and, oh jeez, I don't know if this is going to work. Yeah, I'll probably have to like hold that. We'll figure that out in a second. All right, so Periwinkle is the next color. Oh, I know what I can do. Oh crap, I just broke my bag. Okay, what I'm gonna do actually is I'll cover the light colors from here on out because if the light color goes into the dark, it's no big deal. So that's how we'll do it. All right, let me get the mica in here. Hope you guys can see. I'm sorry. All right, it's just going to be kind of like slower. Oh my goodness. 
sorry guys. It's ridiculous. It's just moving around. Okay. Oh shoot. Yeah, I need three hands to do this. <laughs> Getting it done. All right. So there's the next layer, and it's really not that hard to just get it where I want it to be. But um, okay, so I'm gonna put the rest of this one back in the bag if I can do that without making a huge mess. And then my next one's gonna be purple denim from Crafter's Choice. That periwinkle was from, um, it was from Micah's and more. All right, and I'm just gonna go ahead and try to do it without that. There we go, that's not that big of a deal. cosmic purple and I actually have an even one more that's even darker that maybe I'll use a little bit of because that will really make sure that there's a, a contrast because these sec the second and third one they're not that big of a difference it is. It's called, um, oh, what's it called? It's called uh, Heirloom Eggplant from Crafter's Choice. It's like a doesn't look quite like what I was thinking it was going to look like. I was hoping it was going to look different. A little bit more of a contrast. 
but that's okay. There we go. Dumb plastic spoon is not strong enough. There we go, that's better. Black. Okay, just gonna clean this up a little bit. And I want to get a tiny bit of the um, periwinkle. And I want it, gosh, how can I do this? I want a little bit more of it. Um, and that's on that side there. I don't know if I can get it to go where I want it though. We'll see. Basically, that's basically, you know, the best it's going to get, I think. Thinking about putting a little bit of um, glitter on top over the whole thing. Jeez, I'm wasting so much mica right now. Yeah, mica everywhere. I think that kind of helps to bring it all together a little bit. There we go. That's good. So there we go. That's the finished product. I hope that this mica doesn't stain my counter. 
and that will call it good for tonight. I will see you guys tomorrow to cut this and we'll see how the inside looks. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, and comment to my hot mess of a channel. Thanks. Bye. Hey, everybody. Back to cut this one. Here's the top. I'm happy with the way it turned out. When I was doing it, I was kind of thinking, oh, no, this isn't looking like I want it to. But now that it's all done and cured, I'm actually um, I'm happy with the way that it looks. It looks really pretty. So here we go. We're going to go ahead and cut it. See what it looks like inside. That's another thing. My um, batter was thinner than I kind of thought it was going to be, so I'm not sure. It's going to be more, basically, more swirled inside than I was planning on it being. I don't know if that's going to be a terrible thing, though. I think it might be okay. All right, I'm just going to cut a little piece off the end. All right, so there we go. It's like a swirl. It smells really good. Really, really good. pretty. Totally different than what I thought it was going to look like or what I was planning on, but it's pretty. I like it. I was planning more for like a, I don't know, not, not layered, but kind of layered. I didn't want it to be straight layers or anything, but I did think it was going to be a little bit more of a layer look than this. But like I said, I'm good with that. And I did have, let's see, four different colors, I think. Three different purples and then the white, I guess. So. It is hard, too. I literally just made this last night and it is hard. <laughs> Ooh, that's a pretty bar. I love that. funny how, um, you know, depending on your fragrance oil, you can get so, just like totally different outcomes with soaps. I did put, um, I usually use like 10% shea, I mean 5% shea butter. Sometimes I do 5% shea, 5% cocoa, or sometimes I do 2.5 of each or, you know, whatever. I do different things, but I did actually 10% of shea butter in this one, and that's one of the reasons probably that it's um, really hard. But I'll, I think it's partly to do with the fragrance oil. Because even though it didn't um, thicken up on me last night as quickly as I thought it was going to, the last time that I did this fragrance, it definitely thickened up on me quick. And so I think... Um, I think part of the hardness is the fragrance oil. It's like literally like this feels like I let this sit too long. It, it feels like it's a four day old soap or something like that. 
and it's not even it's like about 24 hours I guess almost kind of hard to cut through pretty there's some really pretty bars in this batch and I'm happy with the way that the top looks especially like on each individual bar I think it does look really pretty it's it does have the look that I was going for I probably if I did this again though I would probably make the first layer of purple a little bit darker because even though um, you know, I it, I don't like not like it. I wish the purple was a little bit darker. So that's what I would do if I um, if I did this again. That one has a lot of the lighter in it. To get one more full size bar. It's a little bit crooked. Holy moly. I'm going to have to fix that later. And yeah, I don't like the way that looks. Anyways, that's the last bar. And that's the way the top looks. Thank you for watching. Subscribe, like, and comment. Let me know how you, what you think. And uh, I will bring you back for the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.